Packline's S310 and S320 asynchronous power and free conveyors have been used for over 30 years. When maintained properly, these systems provide you with years of reliable service. The following maintenance training video deals with the identification, adjustments, and lubrication of the most common components of this conveyor system. We recommend you use this video in conjunction with the maintenance section of the Packline S310 and S320 engineering manual. You will find this manual on our website at packline.com under Products, Power and Free Conveyors. You can pause here and identify any particular section you require and then advance to that section's time code. This is our 310 power and free inline drive. Top cover comes off for maintenance purposes. There's inside, you'll see two cat chains offset. There's dogs in the center here. When they come around, they will engage on the main chain down here. There's a large tooth and a small tooth. The small, small tooth is always in the, in the trailing side. The leading tooth is what does the pushing. Always in that direction. This is how you adjust the cat chains. Just be, keep the tension on this, probably an annual adjustment. Inside the tail or inside the head unit, there's a 17 2 sprocket. That's what tracks the positioning of the chain. Each cog represents one chain of one inch of chain travel. On the back side here, there's a there's a main drive sprocket, which is attached to a clutch. Adjustment, is, adjustment of the clutch is done from this side. Okay, this is a Moore's torque limiter clutch. Consists of a pressure plate and a friction disc and a spring. Basically what you do is you tighten it up to zero torque basically and you tighten these three nuts, bolts, evenly a quarter turn at a time until there is no slippage on this disc. This is S310 sprocket drive. Big benefit of this is to be able to keep it outside of the paint line so you don't have to worry about motors and stuff being inside your, your paint fumes. There's a 64 tooth sprocket. Each, each tooth represents one chain of one inch of chain travel. There's a chain adjustment tensioner right here. Keep tension on the drive chain itself. Personally, I think this is an easier drive to maintain. It's got the same clutch on it. It's easier to engage the chain. It's easier to see the chain. Uh, less worrying parts. The guard is underneath here. You can drop the guard off and there's the same torque limiter on here as there is on the inline drive. This is one of the most integral parts of the power and free system. It's called a stop unit. It's an air, it's an air powered stop unit. Um, it's got a left and a right hand, so this one is actually a double bladed stop. In recent days, uh, we've put an extra blade on to facilitate the alignment of the trolley being stopping in a straight line. This adjustment here is facilitated, like the cylinder is adjusted with a dumpy cylinder with a little thread on the end that adjusts the movement in and out. That lines the the, the, the flapper up with the, the dog as it passes through.
This unit here is the lubrication system on the pound free system. Um, and it, this can be a power only, and this unit in front of us is actually for the power and free section, but it's predominantly for oiling the, the chain in the system. The units here, this oils there, the, the front one oils the, the blocks. Um, there is an oil hole figured in the top of the blocks that push the oil through onto the pins, and the two side ones facilitate oiling through the, the bearings at the side. The, unit itself is powered through, pumped through with oil, which is facilitating this bottle here, which can be primed uh, initially by adjust and adjusted by this plunger, which is at the top of the bottle. The unit is either 120 to 240 powered, and, the, and it's piped through as a single unit and splits into three areas at the back end here to facilitate. This is the inspection section at the end of the unit, which uh, Direction of travel is always towards the inspection section so the chain can be inspected to ensure that sufficient oil is put on the chain after it's been oiled. So this is our S310 power and free system to which there's three generations of trolleys. Uh, I've had them all laid out on the table. This is from 15 years ago, a folded body style. This is from 10 years ago, a solid body style. It gives you much more strength, more robustness than the older style. And the transition between the two is we machined it down and made it thinner for systems that are 15 years old. These are basically for spare parts. Our, our newest generation uh, in the last six years is the cast body style. Gives you the robustness, but also the precision of a cast trolley, which makes the system perform much better than the other trolleys. Uh, the basic parts to the trolley are the front flipper, the rear flipper, the springs, the load wheels with the axles that press through, and the side guide wheels. Uh, there's three different trolleys. Uh, if you had a three trolley set, there's a front and a rear for accumulation. And if you have a three trolley or a four trolley, you'll have intermediate uh, trolleys in the system. Uh, they attach to a king pin on a load bar that are at various different lengths. This one is a shorter one, like about 12 inch accumulation, to which you'd have a king pin that goes through the these uh, holes here and then the groove here would go around the trolley. If you don't want two trolley arrangements, you just have a one trolley but more compact accumulation, you can get seven inch accumulation combo trolley or you can get a 10 inch accumulation with a caboose type trolley. The life of your equipment and production uptake are maximized with regular preventative maintenance as outlined in this video and your service manual. Packline stocks most components, but we highly recommend that each customer stock specific parts as itemized by your Packline project engineer. Your production uptime is far more valuable than the cost of spare parts relating directly to your application and work environment. Maintaining these parts on hand is common sense for immediate recovery should servicing be required. For any additional information, contact Packline directly at 1-800-955-8860 and speak directly to our engineering department.